Hi, Yarnabees. <clears throat> Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Oh, I'm a hot mess today. I'm not feeling well at all. My voice is starting to go again. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling well at all. I think I'm going to talk to my doctor about getting off the Ozempic because it's just ruining my life. It's I'm sick all the time, right? I just, I feel nauseous all the time. Today I woke up, my equilibrium was off. Um, I, I wasn't feeling well at all day. I tried eating. Uh, I just felt sicky stomach, you know? And I think it was the Ozempic that was doing it, but I don't know. I was supposed to up my dose again this weekend, but my pen ran out. <sighs> So I'm supposed to go and get a new pen, but I'm going to be calling my doctor in the morning and talking to him because <clears throat> I gave myself the regular 50 milligram shot on Saturday because that's all I had. But I just, I cannot afford this medication. You know, uh, I could talk to him about getting an exemption, but I just don't know if it's worth it. I really don't know. I, I lost five pounds. That's it. And I'm just sick all the time. I've been taking more time off work than, than I should be because I just can't function right now. So, yeah, I'm just like, meh. And this heat's not helping. You know, Last week, I was freezing cold, and I was thinking, are we ever going to get summer? Are we ever going to get summer? Be careful what you wish for. Because yesterday, boom, it hit hard. It went from, you know, coldish to, okay, we're going to go up to the high 90s. So yesterday and today, it's been about 30 degrees, which I I must, I think it's up in the nineties for the other. And yeah, it's like, I don't like it when it goes cold, hot, hot, cold, you know, it needs to go gradual. What happened to spring and fall? We don't have spring and fall anymore. It's summer, winter. That's it. You know, suntan winter one day snowing the next week, you know, like it's just, it's crazy. My body can't handle this, you know, like, and I'm sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sure that there's a lot of people, a lot of you yarnabees that have, you know, like, uh, arth rheumatoid arthritis or, you know, just like all these other issues that are having the same problem, right? Like just the weather changes on a dime and your body is just going, Z -Z -Z, you know, like. It doesn't know what to do. So, yeah, not impressed, not happy about it. But <clears throat> at least we're getting summer. <laughs> my daughter sent me a picture of my son-in-law. He is burnt to a crisp. He's James, truck driver, uh, tow truck. Yeah, long haul. Anyway, he didn't put anything on. He didn't know that it was going to be that hot yesterday. And he's at home now and she's slathering him in aloe vera because it's just like, ow, I'm looking at it going, oh my good Lord. So <clears throat> speaking of my daughter, guess what I got in the mail? The second sonogram. I'm so happy. Look, look, there's the little peanut. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, that's my grandbaby. For those of you that don't know, I found out the day before our wedding that I'm going to be grandma. First time grandma. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, she's constantly sending me little updates and, and saying, this is how big it is now. This is how big it is now. <laughs> and telling me how she's feeling. She's, she's starting to, <laughs> she's starting to not fit in her clothes. And she's not happy about it. <laughs> uh, well, guess what, honey? It's only going to get worse. So, <clears throat> yeah. 
it's um she's got the baby bump now and she's going mom it's all hard up on the top now and i'm just like ah! <laughs> so, yeah so i'm having <clears throat> i'm having those grandma th feelings and stuff so i was so happy i just she's due in december at the end of december um so yeah it's, i've kind of i've pulled back on making baby stuff uh i think i'm gonna wait now until we find out <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna wait until we find out if it's a boy or a girl and um yeah then it's gangbusters <laughs> that are gonna make a whole bunch of stuff so yeah anyway um okay so there's a few things i want to talk about uh don't forget yarnapalooza has been moved to july 15th so it, you've got until july 14th to get your tickets the tickets are one for five dollars and five for twenty so um the link is down below for the paypal i've got five boxes for those of you that haven't heard about this i'm doing a yarnapalooza i am raffling off five boxes of yarn one box has some yarn in it and an anniversary cake other boxes have yarn and some latte cakes some have yarn and some of the the uh, cotton funnel cakes and the like it's just there's lots of stuff in those boxes <laughs> so as you can see i have added i have stuff in in boxes and stuff all around me um stuff that has been given to me um like gifted to me and stuff that i haven't been able to put away yet and everything so i'm starting to fill my shelves up again <sighs> so i may have to do another yarn of palooza in the future because <laughs> i got so much stuff <laughs> but anyway so yeah so don't forget to get your tickets um also, I have a tutorial coming up. I can't show you the project. I've made two of them already, and then I'm doing one. I'm making another one for the tutorial, but it's uh, it's a vest, a, a cardigan vest, but it's summer card. It's for cotton. Um, I'm using the cotton. What am I using? Oh, I'm I'm using um, the Momenti, which is up there. No, nope, it's up one higher. Uh, so yeah, I'm using Momenti for that one. But I did use uh, a different cotton for. I used three different cottons. Um, I used. What did I use? A denim cotton. I'll tell it all. I'll tell you all that in, the, in another video. But I did make three different ones. Um, so yeah. So if you guys have some cotton or cotton acrylic, uh, get ready because it's gonna be cool. I'm so excited. I'm not sure when that's coming out. I'm still in the process of filming it. So, because I know is if I put it on a mannequin and I show it to you guys, you guys are going to say, are you going to do a tutorial on it? Well, okay, I'm going to do a tutorial on that because it's kind of a summer thing. So, uh, I'd like to get it out before summer's over. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, also, next month is my three-year podiversary. It will be three years that I have been on YouTube. Gosh, it feels like longer. I don't know. It's been, I'll be starting my fourth year. So yeah, that's right. Uh, it's also going to be Sandy Duda's three-year podiversary. So we are thinking about doing something together. Just saying. Stay tuned. Uh, so yeah. Gosh. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how... When I started this podiversary, it was, I, I was filming outside on my deck, you know, and now I'm filming in here. I should do a couple episodes outside again, just 
because, you know, for old time's sake. <clears throat> Sorry, I, my throat's just, <clears throat> they cut the grass today. Oh, that is a story to tell. I'll tell that now. Okay. <sighs> we have guys that come and <clears throat> mow our lawn for us. I've gone through three different companies. Um, I, what in the heck is that? Hold that thought. Sorry about that. <laughs> I saw something crawling up the uh, screen out, uh, outside. <laughs> it was just like, what is that? It looks like a beetle of some sort. I don't know, but uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I've had this company now for, well, we had them all last summer and then we had them well, all this year too. They haven't been around for three weeks. No phone call. No, I'm sorry. We didn't make it this week. No explanation. No nothing. Our grass, I kid you not, was this tall. And Bailey did not want to go out to the bathroom because <clears throat> she she didn't want to go in there. And um, she, whenever she came out, her fur is so long right now. I've got to find a groomer. Uh, it's crazy. You can't find a doctor, a groomer, nothing on this island. <clears throat> so... Uh, I may have to buy a shaver and do it myself because it's, it's going to take me until September to get an appointment to get her hair cut. It's ridiculous. So anyway, um, I, those guys haven't been around. So when she went outside, I had to force her to go outside to go to the bathroom. And when she came back, she had all these little burrs in her fur from the stuff that's in the grass and uh, it was ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so i phoned them and i left a message saying like what is going on can you please tell me nothing i called them again nothing they finally showed up today like nothing happened I tell you, I got, I was feeling really sick and, and not feeling very well at all. And I got dressed and I went out there and I started yelling at them. And I said, what is the problem? Like I says, why haven't you guys been here in three weeks with no phone call? And they says, oh, well, we had some issues. We had, you know, our truck broke down and all this. I says, a phone call. Just a phone call. All you had to do was phone, right? Do you guys not look after your customers? What what happened to all your other customers? You just left us in a lurch, you know? And I says, you know, that is so unprofessional. And he says, well, that's up to the boss. And I says, well, your boss needs to learn how to run his business. You know, I went off. And I know it's just cutting the grass, whatever. But you know what? Like, there's no need, no reason why they couldn't have phoned us to tell us what was going on. So I fired them. I said, fine, you guys can do your job here today. And that's it. Because I, when I phoned the second time, I told the guy. Uh, I says, you know what? This is totally unprofessional. Um, and I said, you're done. I'll find somebody else. Right? Right? And then they showed up. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I fired you guys. So they cut the grass and they left and they didn't leave a bill. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting a phone call from the owner. Uh, Cause they obviously, they must've phoned the boss because it took them a while to get going. So, uh, they probably phoned the boss and said, Hey dude, this woman is just, like loco crazy man like she she's freaking out so what do you want us to do 
Um, so anyways, now I'm trying to get a hold of this other company to see if they would come and cut our grass and they haven't called me back. I've left two messages. I'm like, what is going, what is wrong with these people? Do they not run a business properly? Like what they just figure that there's so much work that, oh, well, doesn't matter. They won't be able to get anybody else. So I don't roll like that. It's like you treat me with respect and you can keep the job, but I'm not going to give you my money if you don't treat us with respect. And, you know, like, am I just being totally crazy? Am I being a total loony bin or like, I don't know. I just don't think it's right. I would, I would never run my business like that. Like if I, if I had a storefront or uh, a business where I'm going out and, and doing whatever, like I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. George doesn't run his business like that. He gets people telling him all the time, oh, thank you for calling me back. And he says, well, why wouldn't I call you back? He says, none of the other companies have. It's like, seriously? I don't know. I don't know if it's just the island that's the the issue. Island life is different. Um, but uh, that's crazy. I tell you, COVID has totally mucked up everything. Everything. So, I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to rant anymore. I'm not going to rant. Um, <clears throat> okay, so how many of you watch TikTok. Mm -hmm. TikTok took over my life for a while. All I did was sit and watch TikTok, just watching TikTok, right? And most of the stuff on TikTok is crap, <laughs> but I just, I got addicted to watching TikTok and it was like, I'd be up until three o'clock in the morning watching this crap. And I thought, oh, I've got to stop. I have to stop because it's, it's not worth, you know, I think I started on TikTok because of Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits because she had a TikTok account and she was uploading videos. So I wanted to see Kim. All right. But then I got watching all this other stuff. And I was just like, I, I had to, I had to quit. I had to stop. I deleted my TikTok account. I just mm -mm, couldn't do it anymore. Holy cow. Like that, that stuff is totally like you just get lost in a rabbit hole of stuff. That's all it is. You know, like just a total rabbit hole that you don't come out of. And you don't come out of it sane. <laughs> like, like, dude, wow. You know, I thought that maybe there'd be some really cool crochet stuff on TikTok. I either was looking up the wrong stuff or like, I don't know what, but there, there's a lot of crap out there. So yeah, I had to get rid of that account. Um, I have been making earrings. I made 50 pairs of earrings, guys. 50, five, zero. 50 pairs. These are not for sale. These are being sent out uh, to a storefront. <clears throat> um, but I just wanted to kind of show you what I was doing. And, um, and if you guys like them, then maybe I'll make some more and and uh you know sell them on my etsy but so these are glass and they are they look like eyes don't they <laughs> but they're not they're flowers um they're dried flowers and i did these in a variety of colors uh, i did these ones these have Oh God, why doesn't my camera focus? Oh man. I'll maybe put some pictures up, but, um, 
yeah, they're, they're dried flowers in there. So I will, I'll put some, some pictures. And I thought these were kind of cool. These reminded me of a gumball machine. Oop. You know, I really need to get a different camera for filming because this new camera of mine, this new phone does not work well for, for videoing. But they have, um, now the, they move like a snow globe kind of idea. But they're little hearts. But yeah, I'll put a picture. And these ones, I'm bringing in some more stuff for these because these are really cool. They are Tree of Life. And this does not do it justice at all. Come on. Yes, no, maybe. No, darn it. And they, they all have different colors in them. Um, so I've got these in different colors that I'm sending out. But um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing. Oh, I have plans to do a bunch more stuff. But I've just not been feeling quite up to up to it. Um, it's taking everything right now to get out of bed. So, <clears throat> and this heat's not helping at all. Sorry, I'm just putting these back in the little cases, the bags. Um, I am watching everybody's videos. Uh, I'm not commenting very much, but, uh, I am there. I'm lurking. I'm lurking. <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing a, uh, shout out video soon. Um, there's a lot of new channels that have popped up recently. Um, well, this year anyway, <clears throat> that I didn't even know about. Didn't even know about. Them. So if you are a new channel, let me know and I'll come check you out. Just leave, uh, I don't think you can leave a link down in the, in the, uh, comments because then, uh, YouTube will tag you or something or something. They don't like that. So email me, crochet at Canada at gmail.com, and I'll come check out your channel. Okay, last but not least, this saddens me very much. Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts, you know I've talked about her all the time, and please go and subscribe because she is a wonderful woman. She just had a death in the family. Uh, her sister-in-law's son... <laughs> 16 year old son just passed away in a car crash um i'm sure the family is devastated jeanette's not going to be on uh youtube for the next week um she did post a little video with some pictures and um i ask please go to her channel and show her some yarny love like i know you guys can and uh send her some prayers and love um it's so tragic, absolutely devastatingly tragic. I, I can't even imagine uh, what that family is going through right now. He, he was so young. Oh, just uh, words. I have no words. I have no words. So, <clears throat> so yeah, please go and go and make contact with Jeanette and, uh, and tell her that you're thinking of her. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Okay. So I guess that's all I have for you guys today. I think. I'm probably sure I've got more. Um, oh, in the next couple of days, my movie marquee uh, video will be coming out. Yeek. <laughs> I didn't get any more bags done, but hopefully I will have my bags back for my sister. She sent me pictures. <gasps> oh, they look so nice. 
they look so much better with a liner in them oh so anyway uh that reminds me i gotta finish the handle for that second bag okay maybe i'm not finished <laughs> so, <laughs> okay guys i will talk to you guys later oh and thank you so much for all your well wishes uh for when my back was out my back and my hip are doing a lot better um yeah i was suffering pretty good there for a while but i i felt so much better with your guys's love and uh, comments and stories oh my good lord you guys sent me so many stories about the issues that you're having i had absolutely no right to to <laughs> just say that i was in so much pain because you guys have it so much worse and i'm just like I, mm, I just i i love you guys so much and i just my heart just goes to you wow <clears throat> so okay i'm gonna go i love you all and i'll talk to you later